Cell phone video of Eric Garner's death at the hands of police shocked the nation. I can't breathe! I can't breathe! And helped spark the Black Lives Matter movement, protesting police brutality. But for the young man who recorded the footage, it was the beginning of a series of run-ins with police that he says led him straight to jail. The whole time he, was watching, huh? he spoke to Al Jazeera by phone. After the video, it just was more intense and you know, more like spotlight on me. Basically, everything they were charging me with, yeah, I had proof that I was doing otherwise. Free this man brought attention to something that they did not want us to pay attention to. Orta, who is suing the NYPD for wrongful arrest, is featured in a new documentary called Cop Watch. The film focuses on a group whose mission is to record police officers to protect the rights of citizens. It's my constitutional right to film. I'm just doing my job. Its members are responsible for recording other police controversies, like the arrest of Freddie Gray in Baltimore and the aftermath of Michael Brown's shooting in Ferguson. This isn't like David and Goliath. This is like David versus an F-18. So essentially, the, the police used every, every possible thing in their power to make sure that Ramsey, um, you know, went, went down. The NYPD has yet to comment on the details of the lawsuit, which is currently under review by the city. But former police officers and their supporters all over the country are complaining that the prevalence of videotape is having a negative impact on policing. Well, everybody has a video camera in their pocket now with a phone, so... This former detective believes officers have become much more reluctant to intervene. Put it in context about what's exactly happening here. That officer's trying to focus in on a specific problem where this person may or may not be armed or dealing with it, and now you have other people coming in from different sides, other stimuli. This could be, present a big problem for those officers. She thought she was doing something right. Critics of Copwatch say it glosses over Orta's criminal record. But Orta says, regardless of his past, the film and his lawsuit are an attempt to shine a light on police misconduct. I want to help people in my community and other communities put more resources out there for the kids. That way they don't end up in, in a place like this. Unlike Orta, none of the officers involved in Eric Garner's death have gone to prison. Back up. Back up. Win or lose, he says he plans to continue working with Copwatch when he gets out. Kristen Salumi, Al Jazeera, New York.